I'll bring the wine, you bring the glasses. What a great time we'll have while the last us. I can't wait to toast with you, so call me a cab. Hi, I'm Joanne, and this is Call Me a Cab, a show about tasting wine without intimidation. Today on the show, we'll be trying three wines and pairing them with food based on suggestions from the internet. We also have a special guest on the show today, Eric Lopez, who you may know from Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, Magnum P.I., and the award-winning short film, Please Hold. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you've already subscribed, thanks, and welcome back. Let's get started. And here's Eric. Hello! <laughs> How are you doing? How have you been? Uh, I, I mean, after the year we've had, like, yeah, I had to hold on to this. I know. It's, it was <laughs> such a long year, but... Well, you've been doing some work, even though it's been COVID. Yes. So, that's you got to go to Hawaii. Got to go to Hawaii. That for had Magnum to be a PI. drag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very, very hard two weeks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> was it very vacationing? Were there tourists there, or...? The first couple of days I was there, it was like there was hardly anyone there. It was so weird. I was like, whoa, where's everybody? And then it was the weekend of Valentine's Day and then everything changed. <laughs> and then all of a sudden everything opened up and then, wow. yeah, it was good. Yeah. Wow, and how has flying been? Because I haven't done that yet. Flying, uh, honestly, I've seen the news. So I was like so scared. I was like, man, people are gonna go crazy. People are gonna like throw fits. But no, actually, it was, it was pretty fine. cool. I guess you're going to Hawaii, so like that's the only. That's flying. true. You're already you're, you're already, already chilled, chilled out. That's true. Okay, so we're gonna start off tasting some wine. Okay. And then I'm gonna ask you more questions along Ooh. the way. The first wine we're gonna try is a Cortese Veneta Bianco Skin Contact wine from Sicily. Skin, uh, skin contact? Skin contact wine, or an orange wine sometimes gets called. Are you much of a wine drinker? Uh, yes, but I've never heard of skin contact, so now I'm like questioning my own knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I have very little knowledge. This show is all about like, I don't know, yeah. let's try some stuff. Okay. So now, do you drink wine normally? Or uh, you... I do, yeah. And like, what's your... Sometimes I'm mostly like either on dates, you know, like with my wife or whenever I'm just like, you know, it's been a long day. I don't feel like drinking tequila, which is my is your main number thing? one go-to. Yeah. yeah. Tequila and mezcal. Now you're from Texas, right? I'm from Texas. Nice. What part of Texas? Dallas. Okay. So I'm a Cowboys fan. I used to live I'm in DeSoto. Team. Oh, what? And Saginaw. Yep. When I was a little kid. So what? I'm technically kind of from Dallas. You're, I'm like yeah. Dallas adjacent. So Okay. Yeah. I see it. Yeah. I, I felt the Southern vibe. <laughs> I felt the Southern vibe too. I for sure had a Southern accent from Texas. I think I heard it a little earlier. <laughs> it came out on a word or two. Now you don't have one. Or no, did you have so to much. work to get rid of it? I didn't have one, but I realized that I do have it for certain words or if I hang around other other, Your friends. Yeah, friends yeah, and stuff yeah, too much. I can see that. Oh, here we go. All right, so this is an orange wine or a skin contact wine. It's technically not orange colored, but it's one of the ways they make wine where it's actually the oldest style of wine making where they make it with the skin still on. But that's not very cloudy. If it's no, no. Not an old fashioned yeah, because they can also do something called fining, which takes the cloudiness out. But if they fine orange wine to get the cloudiness out, they use clay. So that's clay. like something that absorbs all of the cloudiness and then they get rid of that. So that's supposedly what has been done here. So when you do wine tasting, okay. which you have done, right? Right? Yep. They always make you smell it. Okay. Okay. So go ahead and smell it. You really get to your nose in there. Okay. And then tell me if you smell any fruits or spices or anything earthy or anything. I almost can smell the clay. Yep. That's all I can smell right now. Now that clay. I said the word. It's like... Yeah. <laughs> it's like Play-Doh. Yeah, Play-Doh. <laughs> Maybe okay. like a pear? And it's funny because it's just grapes. Yeah, yeah. That's what I smell, I smell grapes. All right, so it smells like <laughs> grapes and clay, and now we're gonna taste it and see what it tastes like. What do you think? I don't know, I'm, I'm like, I'm... I, <laughs> and you don't have to think anything, yeah. there's no wrong answer, that's what I realized. Wine people have certain words they certain go to palettes, to say. Right? That's the crazy thing too, is the influence of words. Yeah, whenever you said pear, I was like, that's, that's what I'm thinking of too, it's like... So when you do get wine, do you usually go white wine, red wine? I go red wine. And okay. then with the white wine, it all kind of tastes like sweet to me. So like it's all fruit. Okay. So I was like, oh, okay, I, I like drink this and I'm like, sweet. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cool, Refreshing. Cool, cool. So what I do is I go on the internet and I say, hey, what goes with this? Mm -hmm. And the internet loves to put goat cheese with white wine. Now, will the taste of the wine change? Potentially, yes. Yeah. Ooh. Is it tart? What you're it's a little tart. It's not as like... It's not sweet. Mm -mm, I'm not getting sweet. Are you getting sweet? Maybe a little? Maybe a little bit. I don't you know. Can, you can have a Maybe. different response than me. It's fine. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going against the expert. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> 
and I'm so not an expert. She's not an expert. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I always wanted to try wines, and I felt really intimidated. Yeah. Because I'm like, I don't know. And then it's like, why don't you open a bottle, and taste it? Yep. See what try you think. It. Well, I shouldn't say you're not an expert. I'm, but you know more. Than you know more person. than the average person. I know more now than when I started. I'm a the, little ballsy. You're like now? pretending to the not know. You're like, I don't know. Oh, this is from Clay, and this is oh, this is skinless. <laughs> oh, and to be fair, I did research. <laughs> yeah, but so. Is there like a cheat sheet of what we should be tasting here? You know, it's funny. Uh, I had another guest ask me that. She's like, I want to know if I'm right. Right, yes. And I, I need like, to pair it up. <laughs> my thing is, I feel like that's helpful if you know the flavors you like. And you're like, oh, it has hints of pear and cherry mm -hmm. blossoms. And you're like, well, I like pear and cherry blossoms. Mm -hmm. And so that gives you a guide post. But I feel like I so often don't taste what they say. You know why I don't like the experts? Because it, it's so subjective. You know, it's mm -hmm. like, how can you know what I like and what I don't? Also, depending on what they had that day, like what, yeah. what they drank right before, or whatever. Oh, true. You never know. So now, speaking of eating, okay. go ahead and get yourself a little goat cheese. You can put it on a cracker if you like, or you can have it just as is. There's toothpicks or... Okay. All right. Yeah, so get a little goat cheese. Yeah. Do a little that. You know what this reminds me of? I don't know if it's the same. There's this Mexican cheese called... Um, oh. Queso like Ranchero. Is that similar? It's, I it's feel like it's very... way more tart than that. Like this is more tart, I feel like. Mm. What do you think? Yeah. Mm. I do love goat cheese though. Yeah. It's one of the healthier cheeses for your respiratory system. Always try to go for goat cheese, especially mm -hmm. pizzas. Was it good? All right. Did you get a good amount and you got mm -hmm. to taste it? Okay, now taste your wine. See if the wine tastes any different. Totally oh. changed it. Yeah. To me, it got way smoother. Yes. Like it's... whatever that tart you asked if it was a little tart, it was. Yeah. Now it's like... Or whatever, like me feeling like it was sweet. The sweet, it's not as sweet anymore. Not now, do you sweet. like it better now, or do you like it better before? Oh yeah, I'm gonna down this right now. Isn't that funny? <laughs> I really think that it definitely changed the flavor. And I, w I like you, I'm like a red wine person. Right, right. So I wasn't really a white wine person, except on this show, I try a lot of it, and I realize that when I pair it with things, I'm like, oh, I like it better now. Yeah. It's like so, a laboratory. You should have like lab coats on. Oh, I like, love that know, idea. Like, it this. really is like that. And sometimes I make terrible mistakes and it's not a good <laughs> like a laboratory yeah. like a terrible <laughs> mistakes happen that's you true. learn from it that's true so in your acting career mm -hmm. when did you move here like were you acting in texas or did you just start when you moved here started senior year of high school senior year of high school okay. so the wine's hitting me already that's what it's <laughs> <Nice. passing>. uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah i started in senior year of high school and then i was like oh this is cool and interesting and i just come off like an injury from basketball so i was like okay i'm gonna get into this and then two years in, in texas and then i moved out to LA because i'm like i want to you know it felt like you know ariel from like a little mermaid i want to be where the people are like, i want to be where <laughs> The magic's happening, you know, oh, that's Hollywood. <laughs> but no, I mean, I, I really did feel like I'm like all the best storytellers, all the best people I could learn from were going to be in, in one area in LA mm -hmm. or New York. And so yeah, how did you pick LA over New York? Because I realized that New York was more for theater and mm -hmm. Broadway. Mm -hmm. And being Latino, mm -hmm. I didn't see as many Latinos on screen. So I felt like, man, like more people will watch TV. This is bigger exposure. You know, more oh, people will watch these stories. And even though like Broadway and musicals and like theater is so great, it's great if you can get them there. But yeah. it's hard to get the masses there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Well, I love that. I feel like that is very calculated and smart. Like, not, yeah. that's not how everybody <laughs> falls off the turnip truck here. You kind of show up like, oh, I'm an actor. Okay, have you taken any classes? Yeah. No, do I need to? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. All right, well, we're going to move on to another wine and we'll okay. see what you think of uh, Rosé. So we're down in this. Next one we're going to have is the Piano Piano Tuscan Rosato from Bacci Estates. This one is another Italian wine. Oh, and it's got a different, different top. I'm like afraid it's going to pop off like a champagne cork. Oh, that was nice. That's wow. A scary sound. I've actually never <laughs> seen a... <laughs> it's like a little glass. That's a glass cork. I've I mean, I guess you glass. can pop it back in and I guess yeah. that's really convenient. That's really cool. I know. But it didn't. We're, we're all safe here. I think yeah, rosés are fun because I love the colors. And when I first tried rosés, I was like, I wanted to like them because they're so pretty. They look so cool on Instagram. Mm. But a long time ago. <laughs> it's all about the IG. Yeah, it's all exactly, about the IG and exactly. the colors. <laughs> You've had rosé before. I've had rosé. And yep. what do you think? Sweet. From the looks of it, you don't like it sweet? <laughs> I mean, I can, I can do sweet. I... I can do sweet, yes. But do you crave it ever? Do you ever no. like, okay, yeah. If I crave sweet, it's gonna be like donuts, you know. Oh, mm -hmm. best yeah. donut place in town yeah. is in Burbank and it's called Donut Hut. Donut Hut. Mm -hmm. So good. So with rosé, okay. sometimes it's sweet, sometimes it's floral, sometimes it's 
kind of beachy, mm -hmm. meaning like sandy or something. So it's sandy. Yeah. So the color on this one is kind of like a, I don't know, like a pink orange. Oh, they always look at the color. The, the experts they, always they, look they at the color. They look the same to me. Oh yeah, some of them are like so pale pink. All right, okay. I'm gonna smell it. Tell okay. me what you smell. Cool. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little funky. <laughs> oh. I don't want to say sulfur, but. <laughs> the worst fart you've ever smelled but like a like a light fart <laughs> what the? like a summer fart <laughs> <laughs> like you wouldn't be okay, mad at it this like. is when i say though it's beachy because sometimes the beach is beautiful and sometimes it has a little bit of a yeah like a little yeah okay so yeah it okay. definitely has like a funky smell i can't even yeah. put my finger on exactly <laughs> gross <laughs> <laughs> should we all try right, it now yeah, i'm like taste i'm both scared fart. but curious yes all right agreed tasting the fart Tastes like it smells. Yeah. What? It's is, is tart it like and a, funky. Is it like a bad batch? No, that's the thing. Some people yeah. like this. They would probably not refer <laughs> to it as like a this. fart. I mean, there's something for Some everybody. Some people just love farts. Like you know, <laughs> there's those people that like to dress up in certain outfits uh -huh. and get treated a certain way by a certain type of woman. Right, right. And they that's pay true. for it. And like true. Everybody likes something. Right. So that's gonna somebody. Trigger, that's going to trigger an ad. <laughs> 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 All right. I'm yeah. very curious. Yeah. Smell it. Tell Smell us what you it, think. Let it. Air. Let it. Uh, what's, what's it say on the on the thing? I'm oh, curious tastes now. like farts. Yeah, there you it go. Says oh. it right there. It's kind of skunky. Like a animal fart. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't. You should let it aerate a little bit and then yeah. smell or, it again. Or try to pair it with yeah, something. Yeah, we're going to try our or? pairing. So what the internet told me to pair with this, and I think I went specifically Italian rosé, because mm -hmm. depending on where things are from, they all taste very different. I think this is one of like two Italian rosés I've ever had, and it's, so far it's not the best thing I've ever had, but we're going to try it with the little caprese like uh, salad skewer. <laughs> like how there's a dance for yeah. caprese. <laughs> it's a caprese, caprese. dance. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling it might work. Yeah, to each their own. Right, see what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, go ahead and grab right. yourself a little caprese. There you go. Hopefully it's delicious. Caprese is good. That I like. Mm. Mm, Hoping it's so good that it makes everything else taste good. All right, I'm afraid, but let's do this. Mm. How was it for you? Better or worse? I think it's been neutralized a little bit. <laughs> I think maybe if this was mixed with something, like if you made a sangria out of this and threw some fruit in it and yeah. some ice and can just... see that. Yeah. I can see that. I'm a big fan of sangria. It was kind of nice with the fig. Oh, did you, fig. you jumped ahead. I said, oh no, was I not supposed to? That actually is meant to be pairing with something else, but that's really interesting that it helped this. Yeah, interesting. Uh, delete that. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. It's fine. And it's really, it's really cute because there's like a bite mark. <laughs> I didn't know where to put it. No, it's very cute. Right. So normally I like to chat while we keep drinking the wine, but I want to move on to the next wine. <laughs> All, right. All, right, cool. All right, so we're, so we're. <laughs> Sticking with a pseudo-Italian theme, because we've had two Italians, this is a California wine made Ooh. by an Italian-American, Francis Ford Coppola. Oh. Fun fact about Francis Ford Coppola, he has made 36 movies and he's made like 80 different kinds of wine. So he's more of a winemaker than a filmmaker. It's like an IMDb for wine. Yeah, <laughs> like it's, I mean, I think that's really cool. He got his first vineyard right after The Godfather hit and he's yeah. got some money and he's like, honey, let's go buy a vineyard and they did. I'm excited because I've actually been wanting to try the Francis Ford Coppola ones. I've never, never tried one. any of them. Yeah, so. Do you remember how old you were when you first tried wine or even alcohol? <laughs> I love this question. I'm saying this on camera. Right now. <laughs> First time I tried wine, it had to have been at a restaurant. Uh, like as an adult or as a child? Yeah, no, it was it was definitely like past 21. And then uh, first time I had alcohol ever was actually, you know how like your parents would be like, oh, if we give him a little beer. He won't. He won't. Yeah. And it worked. Like he gave me a little bit of beer, like to sip. Like, it's gross. When you're... It was super gross. Like at, uh, I don't even know, like I think I was like in eighth grade or something. Okay. And I was just like right before I went to high school. Just... That's pretty lucky because I think I had my first beer around 14 and I was like, oh, I like this. Yeah. <laughs> see, I tested, I was, all, I was like, nope, not. And so whenever I would see my friends like going out and drink and I was just all like, no. Ugh, I just had that memory of like not liking beer. Can I tell you, you're a lot older than most of the guests. Oh, really? Everybody's like, mm, six or seven. Yeah. Because the, the parents thing, it's always with yeah. the parents. Sometimes it's Catholics because they do communion at like second grade. Oh, so you have wine at wait, church. Wait, the communion wine is real? Yep. 
Oh. It's not necessarily well, maybe, delicious. <laughs> maybe then at a younger age from the communion <laughs> wine. That's a more wholesome thing to say, actually. There you go. Yes. See? A seven at communion in church. God <laughs> gave me wine. Yes. <laughs> communion wine, a lot of times, is just donated to the church. Uh -huh. So it's basically all those bottles that you don't want. Like so you get that chuck. super, yeah. And you're like, I would never drink mm. this. I'll give it to church. I always thought it was interesting at Catholic Church whenever, like, I don't know if you noticed, but like they have at the very end, if there's any left over, the, oh, they, they just <laughs> chuck it. I would always watch that and be fascinated. I'm like, I don't, you don't have to drink it all. <laughs> it's okay. My mom worked at a church where the priest actually gave orders like, I don't want any <laughs> I don't want any <laughs> He was telling the, the people in the church office, what like, type? don't accept these, just send That's, them back. Can you, you know? imagine sending some wine to the church and then like just sending it back to you? <laughs> we're good. <laughs> yeah, the priest does not like this kind of wine. <laughs> Oh so my God! Jesus did not turn the water into this. <laughs> oh! <laughs> this is one of those super thick foils. It's gonna be a minute, so we're gonna have okay. a conversation. Oh, so that's why it's taking so long. Yeah, just enjoy me dancing in the background. <laughs> Are you intimidated? about wine or ordering wine or buying wine? I think I have a good gauge as far as what not to order. Oh, how do you gauge that? Mostly from trial and error. <laughs> and also like listening to like whenever, like, you know, we go on a date and I go with my wife and we kind of have an understanding that like Cabernet's put us to sleep and oh. Pinot's and Merlot's are, you know, pretty, pretty safe bet there. So then I'm like, all right, so I know I'm not gonna get a Cabernet. I went with a friend to a restaurant and I was like, I don't know how to order wine. I don't know how to know what to order. He goes, well, what do you like, red or white? I'm like, uh, red? He goes, okay, we'll order a Merlot and a Cab. He just ordered a Merlot and a Cab. We don't know. Oh, I forgot to get his glasses. Be right back. <laughs> Magic of TV. <laughs> and when my friend ordered the Cab and the Merlot, I'm like, well, that's the way to do it. You just try stuff. Till you know. Till you find one. And so we're gonna try the Director's Cut Cabernet Sauvignon. So hopefully I don't put you to sleep with this one. I don't know why I was like, one. Director's Cut. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Coppola for me was the first wine I ever like showed up to a party with. And I think I got the Coppola Claret and everybody liked it. And I was like, oh. Whew. Yeah, let's swirl it and open up. Well, okay, color wise, it's pretty. <laughs> it's funny, I never realized this until this is. White, oh. white wine, red wine glasses. Yep. I didn't know that. I, you yep. know. They say you should taste the white wine in the smaller glasses. Why are they smaller for so white wine? So it has to do with that smelling thing. So when you're putting your nose in the glass to mm -hmm. smell it, the way those aromas get into your brain the best is in that cup. The way this, because of whatever the difference in red wine, and I don't know the scientific part of it, but it has that more surface area, mm -hmm. but it comes up the thing. And it's also like champagne. When you see a long flute, oh, the wine experts don't want you to drink it in a flute. So this is how, this, like, based off the width and how far mm -hmm. away, this is where you should put your nose. Yeah. Yeah. So let's smell it. Okay. That's nice. That's, I like the nice. smell. But you, I mean, I mean, Do you know what? Uh, have you ever smelled like cigars before they're lit? Yeah. See, okay, hold on, hold on. You gotta let me think <laughs> okay, of the know, word, because now that you right. said that, <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> or what is the other way? Like tobacco from a pipe. Yeah. I'm gonna stop. Tell me if you smell a thing. <laughs> well, I smell tobacco from a pipe. Oh, me too. Like... <laughs> <laughs> or cigars. <laughs> Any foods? I'm gonna not say anything okay. about foods or right. spices or natural things that occur in nature. <laughs> I'm just gonna let you say something. <laughs> you know, it smells like plum. Okay. Is that right? Yes, it's correct. <laughs> Correct. Ding, ding, ding. There should be like a ding, ding, ding thing. Like, this is You what... know, I have to say, I'm not that familiar with what plums smell like. I didn't grow up with plums. Oh, really? Yeah. Like plums. We were like an orange and apple banana family. Oh, really? We it were a plum like plant. A... Is that like a Latino thing? I don't Maybe. Know. I don't know. Yeah, plums. You're in Dallas. so you remember... Do you speak Spanish? Yeah. Okay. All right. Is it a Latino thing? I don't know. Do you guys love your plums? I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, it's a fabulous fruit. It's a Middle Eastern thing. Middle yeah. Eastern thing? Oh, interesting. Okay, so you smell plum. Mm -hmm. Do you smell any. N nature-y kind of smells in it. I don't want to influence you at all. Oh, no. Go ahead and say it. I have nothing. Picture like being on a farm and it smells kind of like dirt and rocks and wet things. Mm -hmm. What? Like, like you know dirt when, and rocks? Yeah, like if you're in the forest <laughs> like, or okay. you, like you sometimes are. Um, and it, you just, like you do. <laughs> it smells like wet rocks and mud and things. Okay, taste it and tell me what you taste. And I'm not going right. to speak. I'm going to let you tell me what you taste. It, the word bright 
comes they to mind. They say that a lot with wines. What does that mean to you when you say bright? For one, I think of like like lighter note, like flowery kind of notes mm -hmm. uh, or fruity notes. With this one, I have to take another sip to finish it. He likes the red wine. Yeah. <laughs> Blackberry plum. That's, that's what okay, I'm going to go with. Okay, okay. Final answer. Final answer. Calling Final it answer. in. All right. Ugh. I'm going to phone a friend, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> so this is where these little fig and brie cracker thingies come in. Right. I'll look at you taking the one you already. That's delicious. I need to start buying fig jam. Oh my God. That, and you know what? I like the salty cracker with it too. It's got that salty sweet yeah. thing so the sweet from the fig doesn't go over the top. I will say with this one, the cracker taste is different than when... Mm, oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay. Brings out the saltiness. Yeah. I'm going to go in. Mm. I'm oh. okay with it. It kind of took the fruit out. Yes. But it's still like a light, bright. I still feel that lightness. <laughs> Don't choke on the show. <laughs> the fit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it, it's like a light, bright flavor. Hmm. That's like a good summer cabernet. Yeah, this is a summer cabernet. That's mm. A... Mm. We should just do marketing for them, really. I know. Now, I love brie. What do you think of brie cheese? Brie cheese? Yeah. Let's put on there. Is this with this one? That's, or, oh, that's what this one, one was. This oh, one. really? Oh, I love brie cheese. That's what it was? <laughs> Man, I'm a brie cheese fan. <laughs> Pairs well. Mm, okay. All about the brie. Wow, this is refreshing red wine. Yeah. It is. That's not a word you hear a lot with red this, wine. This is the sangria wine that you use, for sure. It's funny because I've heard a lot of people describe wines, like you were saying earlier, bright. They use these notes that when I'm like a reading that, I'm like, but what does that mean? What does that taste like? And I think that's the biggest thing with wine. There's all these weird descriptors, but I think it's because so many wines are so different and they have such a different effect on your palate depending on what you just ate or if you ate. So you say random things like, it's luscious, it's velvety. I mean, I've never eaten velvet. You know, what would that be like? Luscious will get me. The, if, I, if I read the back of the wine <laughs> oh, bottle. Oh, you're in? Smooth, I'm in. Mm. Velvety, I'm in. Mm -hmm. Plum and blackberry, I'm in. So. As you're a rising star, and I have no doubt that you're going to get like major motion pictures after this and, and go on to huge fame, have you thought about product endorsements? If you would do it, what you would attach your name to? Have you do you have a dream product? Anything in tech, love. Yeah, oh. I actually I originally went to school for like graphic design. Well, originally originally went for like software engineering, and then I was like switched over to graphic design to be more creative in video. So you're a stuff. smart actor. I don't know if I'm smart. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just throwing little things together, you know? What I will ask you before we move on, of all the wines you tried today, I think I know one that's not on the list, what was your favorite? <laughs> the fart wine. I mean, The fart wine was your favorite? Be careful what you say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say no, but really. Oh, okay. What, yeah. was, what was your favorite? Yeah, the Francis Ford, this one. This, well, I'm a big fan of the red. Let's toast with it. I'm gonna pour you a little bit more. Okay, we're toasting. And we're gonna, director's cut. Director's cut. Cabernet Sauvignon. And basically, his version of the director's cut means he. This is the winemaker's like final expression of it. So as opposed to like Francis Ford Coppola sitting down with the editor, he let the winemaker go. This is what I think mm. is the best mm. version oh, of this wine. That's so cool. So you need that wine to watch the director's cut of Apocalypse Now. Perhaps. But also, good pairing. Yes, yeah. I'm sending this home with you. <gasps> what? And so you and your lovely wife can toast. And, All right. Yeah, yeah. So that's I that's your it. your gift for being on my show where we don't pay people. <laughs> so, <laughs> thanks for being. Don't. Yeah, that's your gift from the show. <laughs> Any big last words you want to say about anything about wine? I don't know that we've necessarily taught you anything new today, but other than guys, wine, it smells like farts. Um, pair your wines properly when you think that you have a bad wine, you just didn't pair it right. All right, let me toast to you. I'm so thrilled to have, you're my first okay. post-COVID celebrity guest. All my guests are celebrities in my mind. Thank you so much for coming and being a part of this and being open to it. I love that. And here is to a long and successful career that you very much deserve because you are talented, but he's also really nice, an actually nice person. I always want these people to Aww. succeed. Thank so, you. Cheers. You. Cheers. Cheers to you. All right, bye guys, see you next time. I can't wait to toast with you, so call me a cab. So it smells like farts. Like a like a light fart. <laughs> like a summer fart. <laughs>